Welcome to Chiang Mai, or as some call it, the Rose of the North. Forget, for a moment, your Starbucks and your iPhones, your Instagram influencers and your 9 to 5s. We're going to a place where the air is thick with the scent of incense and jasmine, where ancient temples cast long shadows on cobblestone streets, and where the only rush hour you'll find is a monk quietly sweeping leaves from a temple courtyard. This is Chiang Mai, a city that seduces you with its tranquility and leaves you forever changed. Over the next few days, we're gonna crack this city wide open for you. First things first, no trip to Chiang Mai is complete without a visit to Wat Chedi Luang. This place is more than just bricks and mortar. It's a testament to time, to faith, to the enduring spirit of the city. Walk through the ruins, run your hands over the weathered stone, and let the sentries whisper their stories. Look up, marvel at the towering Chedi, gnawed at the edges by time, yet still standing defiant. Next, you'll want to lace up your hiking boots and head for the hills, literally. Doi Suthet Pui National Park is calling, and you must go. This ain't your manicured city park, folks. We're talking dense jungle, cascading waterfalls, mist-shrouded peaks. It's the kind of beauty that makes you want to ditch your phone and just breathe. Now, if you want to get a real feel for the pulse of Chiang Mai, ditch the fancy boutiques and head straight for Wararat Market. This is the real deal, a chaotic, vibrant symphony of sights, sounds, and smells. We're talking mountains of exotic fruits you've never even seen before, pungent spices that would make your grandmother blush, and enough knockoff designer gear to outfit a small country. It's an assault on the senses in the best way possible. Finally, for all you animal lovers out there, no trip to Chiang Mai would be complete without a visit to the Chiang Mai Zoo. And no, this isn't your typical concrete jungle. Nestled in the foothills, it's a sprawling sanctuary for over 400 animal species. Look, you can read all the guidebooks you want, but to truly understand Chiang Mai, you gotta go beyond the tourist traps. You gotta find those hidden gems, those places where the soul of the city still flickers. Trust me, they're out there. Let's start with the temples. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're thinking, more temples. But trust me on this one. These aren't just tourist attractions, they're living, breathing centers of faith. Each one tells a story, each one holds a piece of Chiang Mai's soul. Now, let's talk about the great outdoors. I'm talking misty mountains, dense forests, rivers that snake through the landscape like silver ribbons, hidden caves just begging to be explored, waterfalls that make you want to strip down and jump in. But here's the thing about Chiang Mai. It's not just about the scenery, it's about the experiences. It's about learning to cook traditional Thai dishes with a local family, their laughter echoing through the steam rising from the wok. It's about the rhythmic clang of a blacksmith's hammer, shaping metal the way his ancestors have for generations. It's about the quiet grace of a monk draping a saffron robe over your shoulders, a silent blessing in the heart of a bustling city. Let's talk food, because that's half the reason we travel, right? Chiang Mai is a culinary wonderland. Some of the best food is served on plastic stools by the road. Hearty, savory dishes that tell a story. First up, khao soy, a rich coconut curry broth over egg noodles topped with crispy fried noodles. One bite and you're hooked. Next, sai ua, spicy herbaceous sausage grilled until crispy outside and juicy inside, served with sticky rice and a fiery dipping sauce. And then there's gaiang hang le, slow cooked pork belly curry simmered in aromatic spices until the meat melts in your mouth. If street food isn't your thing, Chiang Mai has elegant restaurants and cozy cafes for every taste and budget. Chapter 4. Shopping in Chiang Mai. From ancient crafts to modern delights. Look, I'm not much of a shopper, but even I gotta admit, Chiang Mai's got a way of emptying your wallet. From bustling night markets to high-end boutiques, this city's got something for everyone. Let's start with the night markets, because, let's be honest, that's where the real action is the air crackles with energy, a symphony of vendors hawking their wares, music blaring from makeshift stages, and the aroma of street food wafting through the air. You've got your Sunday walking street, which is basically a sensory overload in the best way possible. We're talking miles of stalls, selling everything from handmade jewelry and silk scarves to traditional Thai handicrafts, and, of course, the obligatory I Heart Chiang Mai t-shirt. 
And then there's the Saturday walking street, a little more laid back, a little more local, but just as much fun. Here you'll find unique souvenirs, antiques, and one-of-a-kind pieces you won't find anywhere else. But hey, maybe haggling over prices in the heat isn't your thing. Don't worry, Chiang Mai's got you covered. The city is also home to a number of ultra-modern malls, where you can indulge in some air-conditioned retail therapy. And if you're looking for something truly special, something to remind you of your time in this magical city, head to Ban Kong Wat. This charming little village is home to a collective of artists and craftspeople, selling everything from handmade ceramics and textiles to paintings and sculptures. Chapter 5. Nightlife in Chiang Mai. Where the party never sleeps. All right, the sun's gone down, the air is cool, and you're feeling that familiar itch. The one that tells you it's time to let loose. Have a little fun. Well, guess what? Chiang Mai doesn't disappoint. This city knows how to party. From chilled out jazz bars to pulsating nightclubs, there's something for everyone. Let's start with Zoe in yellow. This place is a Chiang Mai institution, a legendary bar that's been going strong for years. It's the kind of place where backpackers rub shoulders with locals, where the drinks are cheap, the music is loud, and the good times never stop. But hey, maybe you're looking for something a little more low key. Chiang Mai's got you covered. The city is home to countless laid-back neighborhood bars where you can sip on a cold beer, listen to live music, and just soak up the atmosphere. Now, if you're feeling fancy, if you want to sip on cocktails and watch the city lights twinkle below, head to one of Chiang Mai's many rooftop bars. Trust me, the views are worth the price of admission. And for those of you who like to dance until dawn, Chiang Mai's got a surprisingly vibrant club scene. From techno to hip-hop, there's a beat for every taste. Chapter six, useful information, navigating the city with ease. Okay, let's get down to brass tacks. Getting around Chiang Mai is a breeze. Seriously, this city's easy to navigate, even if you're directionally challenged like me. First off, a lot of the main attractions are within walking distance of each other, especially in the old city. So ditch the taxis, put on your comfiest shoes and just wander. You never know what hidden gems you'll stumble upon. Now, if you're going further afield, tuk-tuks are your best bet. These three-wheeled chariots are ubiquitous in Chiang Mai, and they're a cheap and cheerful way to get around. Just make sure you negotiate the fare before you hop in. For longer distances, song thews are the way to go. These red trucks with benches in the back are basically shared taxis, and they'll get you where you need to go for a fraction of the cost of a regular taxi. And if you're feeling adventurous, why not rent a bicycle? Chiang Mai is a relatively flat city, and cycling is a great way to explore at your own pace. Just watch out for those crazy drivers. Chapter seven, where to stay, from budget friendly to boutique bliss. All right, let's talk about where you're gonna rest your weary head after a long day of exploring. And let, let me tell you, Chiang Mai's got accommodation options for every budget and taste. If you're on a shoestring, don't worry, you don't have to sleep on the streets. Chiang Mai is teeming with guest houses and hostels that offer clean, comfortable rooms for a fraction of the price of a hotel. For those of you who like a little more comfort, Chiang Mai has a plethora of mid-range hotels that offer great value for money. Think swimming pools, on-site restaurants, and all the amenities you need for a comfortable stay. Now, if you're looking to splurge, if you want to treat yourself to a little luxury, Chiang Mai's got you covered. From boutique hotels tucked down quiet alleys to sprawling resorts on the outskirts of the city, there's a place for every indulgence. One place that comes to mind is the Anantara Chiang Mai Resort. This place is the epitome of luxury, with its stunning riverside location, world-class spa, and impeccable service. Trust me, you'll never want to leave. But hey, maybe you're looking for something a little more intimate, a little more charming. If so, check out the Hatai Boutique House. This hidden gem is tucked away in the heart of the old city, and it offers a tranquil escape from the hustle and bustle. Outro until next time, Chiang Mai. So there you have it your ultimate guide to Chiang Mai. From ancient temples and bustling markets to mouth-watering cuisine and vibrant nightlife, this city has it all. But here's the thing about Chiang Mai. It's more than just a destination. It's a state of mind. It's a place where you can slow down, breathe deep, and reconnect with yourself. It's a place that gets under your skin, that stays with you long after you've left. So what are you waiting for? Book that ticket, 
pack your bags and come experience the magic of Chiang Mai for yourself.